The moment of inertia is a measure of an object's resistance to changes in its rotational motion about a given axis. In simple terms, it tells us how difficult it is to make an object start or stop spinning. It depends on two main factors, the object's mass and how that mass is distributed relative to the axis of rotation. The greater the distance between the mass and the spinning axis, the lazier the object becomes. To understand this better, imagine pushing a merry-go-round. It takes some effort to get it moving, right? Now, imagine the same merry-go-round, but this time, all the children are sitting on the edge, as far away from the center as possible. It's now much harder to get the merry-go-round spinning, isn't it? That's because moving the children to the edge increased the merry-go-round's moment of inertia. This illustrates that moment of inertia isn't just about the amount of stuff, mass, it's also about where that stuff is located relative to the axis of rotation. You've probably heard of inertia, the idea that objects at rest stay at rest, and objects in motion stay in motion. Regular inertia is about linear motion, like pushing a box across the floor. Moment of inertia is about circular motion, like spinning the same box around. Both depend on mass, but moment of inertia also cares about where the mass is. Mathematically, for a single point mass, m, rotating at a distance, r, from the axis of rotation, the moment of inertia, i, is given by i is equal to m r squared. As you can see from this equation, the moment of inertia increases linearly with mass, but quadratically with the distance from the axis. Small increase in the distance from the axis has a significantly larger impact on the moment of inertia. This is why figure skaters spin faster when they pull their arms in. When their arms are stretched out, mass is far from their spinning axis. High I is equal to slow spin. When they tuck their arms in, mass moves closer. Low I is equal to fast spin. You might not realize it, but moment of inertia is everywhere. In sports, machines, and even your own body. Let's look at a few examples. When a gymnast flips, they tuck their knees to their chest. Why? to lower their moment of inertia. By pulling mass closer to their spinning axis, they spin faster and tighter. Divers do the same. Arms out for slow, graceful turns. Arms in for lightning-fast spins. Watch an ice skater go from a slow glide, arms wide, high moment of inertia, to a blur, arms crossed, low moment of inertia. Have you ever noticed that bike wheels are heavy on the outside? That's because the mass far from the center gives them high moment of inertia. This helps wheels maintain momentum and stability, making rides smoother. When a crane lifts something heavy, it has to move slowly. A swinging load has a high moment of inertia, making it difficult to control quickly. That is why crane operators are trained to move the crane very slowly and with caution. In everyday life, have you tried pushing a door near its hinges? You will find it hard to push because of high moment of inertia. In conclusion, moment of inertia is a fundamental concept in rotational dynamics that dictates how objects respond to torques and angular accelerations. From the design of vehicles and sports equipment to the operation of satellites and gyroscopes, understanding moment of inertia is essential for engineers and scientists in a wide range of applications. It's a testament to how a seemingly simple concept can have far-reaching implications in the world around us.